Well guys, we only have three new flux measurements since our last video, so this will be a very quick update. So we will go over both the short-term and long-term light curves of Tabby Star using Bruce Gary's latest G-band measurements. Let's first look at the short-term light variations of Tabby Star. From our last update on December 16th, this was the normalized G-band light curve of Tabby Star using the 20 data point simple moving average as the nominal flux level. And it showed that we were down approximately 0.15% from the nominal flux level. Bruce Gary was unable to make measurements on December 17th, 18th, 19th, and the 22nd due to bad observation weather. So we will show you what we have. So let's move forward in time to the present date by adding his G-band measurements to this light curve. So this is the normalized light level on December 20th, 21st, and this is today's measurement for the 23rd. So from our low of approximately 1% below the nominal flux level, we are now sitting at approximately 0.2% above nominal flux. Let's now take a look at the long-term light curve of Tabby Star and focus in on the last 94 days, which incorporates both the brightening event as well as the almost fully recovered dimming event. So this is the status of the long-term light curve we showed on December 16th, and we are using the 20 data point simple moving average of the G-band measurements to track the long-term flux trend of Tabby Star. The light blue circles are Bruce Gary's G-band measurements, and the connected darker circles, which are blue with the red borders, form the 20 data point simple moving average curve. As you can see, we were approximately 0.6% below the highest flux levels reached by the 20 data point simple moving average. So let's move forward in time to the present date by adding Bruce Gary's G-band measurements to this and also advancing the corresponding 20 data point simple moving average. And the best fit curve is shown here. And we are now down approximately 0.67% below the highest flux levels reached back on November 16th. Notice that the dimming is slowing down and as predicted on this channel many weeks ago, we are completing the last portion of this bell-shaped curve and in the time frame in which we predicted it. We believe that we are going to complete the final tell of this curve over the next few weeks. What we show by the green line is the final predicted completion of this curve. The trick to accurately predicting the future shape of the light curve is to use the 20 data point simple moving average to take out the variability in the measured data and to determine the trend line. Well, as promised, we are keeping this update short. So guys, have a great holiday ahead. Enjoy your family, friends, and significant others, and take good care of yourselves. We will see you in our next video update.